What's up everyone and today I wanted to talk about why I lost motivation during the week. On Wednesday I was flying like everything was going right. I've put two videos online already. One about a client of ours asking us to go and get get hold of another company about a tender process that they were putting out and then also getting another quote from a job we had just finished they wanted us to quote on another job really and I, I was going so well I was doing so well I was just loving life at the time and I even found two motivational songs that I wanted to do for the motivational podcast that day and they were just like so perfect really I then thought before I recorded I saw an email notification come up and I read the email the email landed up being from one of my solicitors for the property of my house I'm busy selling my house in the UK it's been in the process for quite a while now and I received this email from her and I was like well I need to do just get one or two bits of information so I contacted her and we were busy talking and she's like oh very good valid point let me just quickly check my email and she went through her email and there was a notification uh, email there from the buyer's solicitor to say that the buyer is going to pull out of the deal so from being on cloud nine boom world <gasps> you what you're pulling out now, the reason why this is such, was such a big deal for me is when I bought the house at the time, I took a 12-year interest-only mortgage. Since then, so basically, I just pay the interest off on the loan. In a way, it's, it helped me get onto the property ladder, but you've never paid off that capital. The house is worth more now than when I originally bought it. And that was the thinking behind it all anyway. Now, the problem is that the mortgage expires. I originally thought in July, but then the next day on the Thursday, I found out, well, we got the keys. I, I, I got the keys on the 7th of June and I was like oh wow I have like 23 days to remortgage my house now and my circumstances have changed since then I now live in South Africa I don't get paid in pounds I get paid in South African rands yes I'm also a business owner but and I pay myself the minimum so that I can keep investing in my business and help the business grow so circumstances have changed and I just that night after hearing this news I was devastated I even posted on Facebook saying it was like a mountain had just been placed in front of me and this was going to be quite something challenging in my life because I was very nervous that I was going to potentially lose the house because I just I didn't have the answers at the time and it just felt like the most daunting task ever. Since then I have spoken to my accountant to find out about my business stuff and how that will help me if it can etc. I've spoken to the lender where I've actually got my mortgage with. They weren't very helpful at all, I must admit. Uh, and I, well, one thing he did say to me there was that I need to go through a mortgage advisor. Not a problem. I still have the contact details from the guy that originally set up my house back in the day. Contacted him. Now, I, I, I've, before that, okay, I had 
a day or two of, oh no, what now? I, I just wasn't sure. But by Friday morning, I had come to terms with three scenarios. Scenario one, the buyer says, okay, fine. When they realized we were actually literally at the, the, the last hurdle, they then come back to the table and say that they will go through with the deal. Option number two is that I try and get my house remortgaged and hopefully that's successful. Option number two is a good option. I like option number two. Option number three is I lose my house. This isn't a very good option. And it took me about two days to change the mindset in the sense that if I lose this house, this will suck like bad luck. This, this isn't an outcome I really want to happen. But if it does, and I can then snap out of that state of, because I'm going to be very depressed. I'm, ad I'm admitting that now. I'm going to be like, no, I lost that out. I'm not going to be happy with myself. And I know that it's going to take a strong willed person to get overcome that. If I overcome that, and I keep, let me just put that back on, sorry. And if I manage to still drive to be that successful person that I believe I will be, and if I still have that breakthrough of actually achieving that success, then the, the, the losing the house part of my story will have way more impact on my story. This, let me tell you now, this is not the outcome I really want. But if this happens, I've, I've always believed, well, I've, I've believed for a few years now that everything happens for a reason. I might not see that reason right now, but everything happens for a reason. And this will be a hard reason to swallow. But... If that's part of my story, then that's part of my story. But now let's, let's rewind a little bit. And since then, I've spoken to the original guy that helped me set up my previous uh, mortgage. And he just said, uh, asked me a couple of questions and said, Eugene, no problem. I've seen the scenario of a business owner that draws the minimum You've obviously got financials for your company so that they can see that. And he sounded quite positive. <laughs> what? You know how much of a weight that was that got lifted off my shoulders when he told me that. I, I must admit, I took a, a massive sigh of relief. I mean, I've just actually emailed him like literally before I started this video uh, answering the questions that he needed. And yes, let's see where this goes from now. But what I'm trying to get is, is on Wednesday when I saw this news or heard this news, it was like this mountain, mountain had been placed in front of me. As I worked through it and I got the information I needed, not people giving me advice and telling me, oh, blah, 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 blah. I needed that information. I, 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 like I said to my dad at the time, what scares me is I don't have the answers right now. I spoke to him on the Wednesday. I said, I don't have the answers. And that, that scares a lot of people not having the answers of what you need to do and how things are going to work out. But I took that step back and I started evaluating and started researching and got in hot, got in touch with the mortgage lender at first and then a mortgage advisor just to be told, seen this scenario plenty of times, 
It's all going to be fine. So that mountain that I physically had placed in front of me as an obstacle that I'm going to have to... That was the wrong thing to do. It shouldn't have been a mountain. It should have just been like, I've got a curveball coming at the moment. It's how I handle this curveball. Not, not visualizing this obstacle as a mountain. Something for me to overcome. Yes, I still had to overcome the, the actual issue. But I, I like the way that it didn't take long for the mindset to change. And yes, I must admit, Motivational Hits 2019, the music in there just seems to, I don't know, I'm, I'm so glad I've done this podcast and the, the, the playlist on Spotify, the Motivational Hits 2019 playlist, I'm so, I'm glad I've done it because there's been times where it's just helped motivate me when I've needed it the most, so yes. Anyway, let's see how the next couple of days turn out. Obviously, my mortgage advisor is going to have some questions for me after seeing what I've written down. And we can go from there. Um, it's going to be interesting. And yes, one of the things, as I mentioned, it was I originally got the keys on the 7th of June. So I thought I had 23 days. After speaking to the mortgage lender, I found out I have until the end of June. So, I have a little bit of more time. Things just have gotten that slightly bit easier. And yes. Anyway, guys, that is it for this episode. Thank you very much for tuning in. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.